Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs. Welcome to another Noobcast. This is Blomus. We are here on Ohana. Definitely, I know it's got some, uh, well, people say it has some issues balance-wise, but let me tell you something. I really like this map. I like this map a lot. And we are here with Adrenaline, our Diamond Level Zerg player. Uh, whose games I've really enjoyed casting, and he sent in a few doozies, and I think this is his third time with us. His opponent this time is Talk Show Host, and I feel like I've casted Talk Show Host before. So I don't know if this is a practice game that these guys play together, or if this is um, a ladder game and they've met before, or I don't know, but I definitely feel like I've casted Talk Show Host before. Um, I'd have to go look through the archives to confirm that, but... I don't really care to do that. But hopefully, in any case, these guys are going to put on a good show for you today. Um, I've been having some sound issues again. My microphone's just been really soft, and I think I fixed it, but now it might be too loud. So hopefully um, hopefully it's not. Uh, I haven't tested it because, you know, why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> I mean, why? Why in all the name of anything, why would I do that? Why would I do anything other than just cast? Because that's what we do. We just cast here. Just cast. In any case, if you are unfamiliar, welcome to Noobcast. I'm Blomus. I'm your guide in this world of noobdom. The place where we prove time and time again that fun, exciting games can happen at any level of play. Whoa. We had a cancel there. What was that about? Any meh. Um, we're all about showing low-level games in the hopes that, uh, well, with the confidence that we will see that, uh, prove that point, that fun games can happen at any level. And we do this just for the love of the game. We don't get any kind of remuneration from our efforts, um... Try to cap. Try to put up a game every day of the week, and not always 100% successful. As we see, talk show host doing some proxy barracks action here. Just one single proxy barracks, and the reason why he's doing that is for scouting purposes. Even though Adrenaline has not scouted his front, which is something that you usually want to do as Zerg to check for those proxies. If he comes up and sees the one barracks here, he's not going to expect any kind of proxy play, but we see down here talk show host is proxying one barracks. So the thing that is not great about this is twofold. Plus his uh, first, his placement. This overlord is going to come out and see that right away. Um, but it's probably going to be too late and talk show host is going to be able to have a, uh, a pretty effective oh wow, double bunker. A lot of lings out. Those bunkers are not going to finish in time. These lings could uh, do all kinds of damage to these marines. I think he is going to clean this up. Um, and the bunkers are not going to finish. The SCVs are going to die. The marines are basically just trying to buy time for these bunkers to finish. But there's uh, marines coming out. And there's uh, the SCVs are gone. So these are not going to finish. He needs to get a cancel on these and salvage. Yeah, there you go. Get that money back. Get that money back. But the Marines are still doing damage. But now the Queen's out. And they are not going to be doing anything else. Although he is queuing up Marines now. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> now he's like, okay, never mind. I'm getting out of here. So Adrenaline, definitely with the upper hand here. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Macro hatch right away. I guess it's not any different from taking a really fast third, except you're not going to mine from it, so it's not going to help you economically. Um, but wow, this is like spawning pool only. And then hatch hatch. Um, I guess we'll see how it goes. But this barracks is not going to get back in time to wall this off. But there's enough marines here to... Uh, scare him away. So he's going to swap this one and put this one down. Put this one on the low ground? Talk show host 
making me feel like he needs to be on a talk show so that he can tell me what the hell he's doing. Um, this is not normal. It's not something you see normal. I mean, four barracks you see all the time, but this down here, where it's very susceptible to being attacked, um, he needs to... Now that these three are, are done or about to be done, after this Marine finishes, he should just lift off and get it back on the high ground. Um, it's not really doing anything beneficial for him there, and Adrenaline's not attacking. Instead, he is droning like a freaking madman. He's got his speed halfway done, taking more gases. Uh, just one at this point. I think uh, I think he should feel safe enough to go ahead and take another base, and uh, he may be saving up money to do just that, looking at his uh, climbing. Yeah, I think this... Nope, nope. nope. But uh, Talk Show Host does have his second and now a third command center coming out. Wow, look at that. An orbital going down. And uh, curious if he's going to go ahead and try and take a third right away or if he's going to turn this into an orbital and just leave it here for extra mules and, and making extra SCVs. Little uh, little aggression here from Adrenaline. Nothing too, uh, too crazy. Still with the uh, barracks on the low ground, I mean, maybe he's using it kind of like for vision. You know, waiting for... I mean, that's the only thing I could think of, so he can see incoming attacks soon. Sooner, anyway. Good overlord placement. Looking for drops. And we are seeing some uh, engagement here. Marines and zealots. Marines and Zealots. Marines and Zerglings. Wrong race. Derp. And the third base does eventually get down for Adrenaline. I thought he had the opportunity to go sooner, but that's cool. And now with uh, several Banelings morphing, he's going to be pretty well prepared for taking out these Marines. No speed as of yet. Oh, that was weird. I sure do miss my color mod, though. I don't know if you guys miss it. I feel, and I think I mentioned this in another game, I feel as though in the new patch, even though they dropped the color mod, they did a little bit to enhance the colors of the units. Now, I could be completely mistaken and just be thinking that because I haven't looked at the regular units in so long, maybe it just wasn't as bad as I thought. Now, I haven't cast a ZVZ in a long time, so... Um, and this is also a, one of the brighter tile sets, and where the old colors were most problematic were on um, tile sets like Zelnaga Caverns, um, or uh, Shakuris, that kind of thing. Lots of Marines, and only Marines. We do have Baneling Speed coming out for Adrenaline, and there's that... F oh, you know what I didn't do? Crap. I didn't run that... Um, I'm going to have frame drops throughout this whole game. Because I didn't run that... There's a uh, a replay that of a sandbox that features the building attacking and destruction of every unit and building in the game. Basically all the different things. Because apparently in the new patch there's a shader issue. And, oh, Overlord Speed just finished. So, and Ventral Sacks about... No, did he get Ventral Sacks? No Ventral Sacks, just Speed. Okay. So I'm thinking he's going to do Baneling Drops, but he's got... Uh, Pathogen glands and bailing speed now finished, so he'll be rolling. They see me rolling. They hating. And just Marines. I'm looking. What else is he going to be doing? Is he going pure Marine medvac? Nope. He's starting to make tanks now. Okay. Starting to make tanks. The tank production has begun. But it's been pure Marines. He does have Stim finishing up now. Very, 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 very late Stim. And he is getting his upgrades. But basically building reactors on everything. 
Um, I want to check out the army tab real quick. Yeah, I thought adrenaline might be up a little bit, and he is way up on worker supply. And he, so you can see he's got a huge lead in supply here. Morphing more banelings. Uh, fungal and baneling against marine is just sickening. Fourth base down for adrenaline. I'm waiting to see some kind of drop play coming from talk show host. I mean, it's this many Marines. So many. Just now getting combat shield again. So very late in the game for... Oh no, his Marines are caught. He doesn't have a way for them to get out. And they're going to keep getting caught. Until he fills up this little area with Marines. And then they'll spawn out here. Help me, help me, guys. Oh, no. Help me, no. Oh, only one came out. I guess all the rest will pop out, out out here, though. And just look at the map coverage now that Adrenaline has. There's very... There's only very small areas that he can't see. Just right here in the center. But look at all of these overlords everywhere. All the way through here, going to see any kind of drop play, any kind of aggression coming out. And he's going to see everything. There's no way he's going to get anywhere near. He might be able to squeeze in this area right here and not be seen. Nope, he's not even going to be able to do that. It would be right here. If he flew in at this angle, he could hit this fourth. But there's no way. There's no way. Yep, he's he is seen. He is spotted. And we're going to see the drones coming in. And here come the Lings. And he's just going to have to sack this. He's not even going to be able to get in here in time. And lift off, lift off, lift off, lift off. Not bad. Lost four Marines for a hatchery, which is immediately going to get replaced. That's a good trade. Oh, no. Oh no, he's over oh he's over the open air. Oh no, he's gonna lose both of these with all of his marines. Holy frijoles, Batman. Oh no! Oh I thought he was gonna get away. Oh man. Nice job by adrenaline. And here comes more drop ships. Basically, uh just gonna be giving away. Yep, you gotta watch out, man. He sees everything. Everything is being seen here. And now we've got Spore Crawlers, so he's going to have to drop soon. And he's going to lose the medevacs anyway. Oh my goodness. Get out of there, bro. Fungal on the Marines. He barely gets, barely escapes. Very low HP on these guys. What do we got? We got 10 HP on you. And 24 HP on you. And here comes the... Aggression from adrenaline. I don't think he can be stopped. There's just way too much. There's not enough tanks. They're not. Uh, not all of them are sieged. And look at this. He's got. He's got an infester coming in. I'm gonna go into the probe line. There's not a ton here. He's gonna pop out all of his. Uh, Lots of infestors, lots of fungals. Yeah, I don't think that talk show host has any chance here. It's such a big army. Now we have plus three weapons. And we have Chidness Plating coming in. So we're going to see Ultras. Three being made in the queue right now. But look, no scans. Uh, hopefully, he's paying attention. Get the scan down. Get the scan, 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 scan. Scan! Oh my goodness, why did he popped up to fungal and lost every single one of his infestors? Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't even know. I think that Adrenaline actually lost out huge in that exchange because Talk Show Host only lost Marines. And he really just, that was a big, 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 big mistake.
But he does have ultras out now, so we'll see if he's going to be able to... Look at how many lings he has. Holy crap. afraid of those veinlings. <laughs> Whoopsie. Might have been a little bit of afraid a little bit afraid there. Maybe just a bit. And these lings are gonna go in and attack this fourth base of Oh, it's a planetary fortress. It really bothers me that they don't attack the SCVs. Bungle down on the Marines. Not enough medevacs to keep them alive. Kill the Infestor at least. Many, 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 many barracks going down. Terran with a huge bank. Probably should have been... Uh... making those barracks sooner. A lot more banelings coming down. He needs to start making marauders, I think, at this point. with Between the ultras and uh, the banelings, he's going to have to start making... He should put tech labs on all of these. But he's not. He's making reactors. All marines all the time. I don't get it. And I don't like it. I don't get it, and I don't like it. This is a huge force. Lots of ultras. They're very clumsy, though. Tanks are not sieged. This army is dead. I think this is... It's gotta be game. It's gotta be game. I don't see how they can get... Oh, he's just rallying units into their death. They can't really do anything. Look at these Marines in here, saving the day. Plus three melee, plus four carapace. Oh, talk show host. Why you cry? Why you cry, talk show host? <laughs> I can't get at these marines, that's too funny. And there's a GG from talk show host. Inevitable, I think. And he's left the game, and Adrenaline is still killing stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, not a bad game. A little bit, a um, tiny bit turtly. There was a long time where there was no, uh, no action. Those attempted drops, though. I mean, you really got to applaud Adrenaline's uh, Overlord spread. He just had the entire map covered. There was no way that talk show host was going to get any kind of harassing done. And... Uh, Pretty good all-around game played by Adrenaline. It's been fun to watch him play. Uh, look forward to seeing more from him. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for this one. See you soon. Keep climbing that ladder. Peace.